Hey guys, David here from Lothario Moore, and yeah, um, at my mom's, and I just set up this tank. Um, it's a shrimp, it's just, it's gonna be just a shrimp tank. Right now I have three ghost shrimp in here. Here's two. This one right here has eggs in her. I know this one. So you can see. This one's the male. And... I don't know where the other female is. But yeah, um, I have a marina filter in there, 10 gallon filter, and a bubbler and a piece of bamboo. Um, going to be getting some more plants in here, <clears throat> probably this weekend. So yeah, that's that, um, just a 10 gallon tank, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I could, pause. I could have paused this, but yeah. All right, now, right here, this is my baby baby bear dragon, Apollo. Take him out. He's really small and fat. Oh yeah, he has really nice colors. He's cool. So that's him. He has a nice 30 gallon bacterium. And yeah, he really seems to like it. Click on my light. Over here, there's gonna be something in here this weekend. Um and I am going to the, I'm going to the Baltimore Repticon, so look out for videos from that coming up. Uh over here. This is my breeding pair of leopard geckos here. It's actually, these are the two leopard geckos, the only two leopard geckos I'm going to be keeping. I'm selling the rest. So if you're in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, um, besides these two, this is a male tremper right here, 57 grams, and this is a female. Super Hyper Tangerine Care Tail, 52 grams. But yeah, two very healthy geckos. And my male is actually in shed right now. That's why it looks like that. So yeah, this is my breeding pair. Right here is another fish tank. This, And here I have a quarry cat. So you can see right there. Uh, and two Buenny Series Tetras. And a tetra filter. All right. And here I have about 35 medium-sized doobie roaches. I only feed them that once a week. And then right here I have a small female. For some reason, it's going off eating. You have tried everything: hand feeding, tongue feeding, letting them go in her tank, and so, yeah, she won't eat for some reason. <clears throat> so yeah, that's her. Trying to get going to get rid of her. So like I said, these are the only two leopard geckos I'm going to be keeping. So yeah, that's her. It's just a normal female once again. Uh, here I have some crickets from earlier. And here, who's in here? Oh, here is um I don't know I think I'm pretty sure it's a female, female tangerine and a male normal. This one's 50, the one on to the on the um left is 50 grams, and the one on the right is 38 grams. So yeah, that's them. So yeah, that's them. That's their food bowl. They're cool. I like them. But I'm going to be getting rid of them soon. And then down here, I have a male. 
50 gram Max Snow Leopard Gecko. Proven, proven breeder and a female bell, 43 gram, um, infertile female. Yeah, so she's 40, she's 43 grams, but she is infertile, or she won't develop eggs. So yeah. So just direct, just direct message me if you have any questions or if you want any of them. Um, they will not come with the tank. Oh, the tanks have an incubator right there. No eggs right now. But yeah, and I move on to my second to last thing here. Um, this is my juvenile beer dragon, uh, Newton. He's right here. Um, yeah, he is juvenile. I've had him for a little under a year. He's awesome. Super tame. And yeah, he has his whole entire closet to himself. <clears throat> and let's keep this tail under here. So yeah, um, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll see you at my pond I just cleaned. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm at my pond. I can't walk into these areas here. But yeah, um, I just have some goldfish in my pond. Two extra large crayfish. Um, so yeah, what I have in here, I have two fantails, which are right there. Two fantails, three shabunkin, and one small koi and also have an seven inch seven inch crayfish aerator and some dwarf cattails um just got a new filter and everything for it today so yeah it's pretty sweet so you guys thanks for watching comment rate subscribe peace